Today I'm quite tired and my legs hurt a lot. Uh, this morning I had a lesson, um, art obviously, um, and in it I'm trying to make something, you know, I'm looking at the way people walk and how that can be affected and things, so I'm trying to make some sort of crutch thing. So I've been filming myself swinging my leg back and forth and things like that. Yeah, I'm trying to make a prototype. I think the hardest part of art can sometimes be trying to link it to the art world, you know, say why it is art and what it's inspired by, because it has to be where for the research and kind of sexual journal stuff, it's got to be like inspired and things by other artists. Um, there's some sort of guidelines on that sometimes, like uh, you can't use artists from sites like DeviantArt because, I don't know, they're not well known artist or something, I don't know. But yeah, there seems to be guidelines like that and then a couple of years ago in, in college I wanted to use, I think his name's Johnny Hingleton, um, as a inspiration for some pieces I was doing in black and white and I was told I couldn't because he was not fine art, you know, just art, he was graphic design or illustration, so it's quite, it doesn't, it, Sometimes things overlap and sometimes it's like you get told no that's not art enough to be art and sometimes you can make something and it is art even though it's something that's a functional thing or a normal thing that you see from day to day. I think it's kind of odd to be told that one artist can turn a urinal on its side and that will be art and another one can do drawings for comics or something and do drawings all the time like that and um, that can be called illustration or something and instead and I don't think it's right that we should be telling people what art is really or especially not telling students what art is when they are the next people to make the rules, really. Some images by Johnny now, and then you can disagree in the comments. And I think since I went to that college, Johnny has since then died because of MS. So I hope you're all having a good day tonight. I think I'm going to see the film 127 hours, and uh, then I'm going to go home tomorrow so I can go to the doctor's.